Shalom, shalom, shalom. Before I get started, as always, I have a little to see. Call all your hobble, but I shall be able to shape by Hashem the conqueror dodge. The one is to the to the others in the possible great millstone. And shout out to Tudo for a let. Shout out to Heavenly Father, name is Yahweh, whom the world evilly calls God. All right? Yahweh has many titles, but only one name. He is the former of all things. All right? And Yahweh means he, uh, Yahweh means uh, he is this, he is that he is. His eyes are 10,000 times brighter than the sun, technically infinite. He's everywhere. A infinite, infinite power. Yahweh, he is this. All right? And of course, the Heavenly Father, Son, name, who the world it really calls Jesus Christ. That's not his real name. That goes back to Greek. That's fake. That's made up bullshit. All right? Yahweh Shai is the, is the Heavenly Father, Son, real name. Yahweh Shai means he is the Savior or he is the Deliverer. Same exact thing. All right? And Yahweh Shai is coming back to save and deliver the elect of the nation of Israel. Now, the question is, who are the Hebrew Israelite sons of God, Prince, Prince of Power, Yahshua Allah? They are the so called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native American Indians, and the Israelite foreigners that look just like the other nations. Alright? Because you are, according to the seed of your father, whenever you read the book of Numbers, chapter 1. So, it don't matter how you look, so called black, white, Japanese, it don't matter how you look. It matters. Who your line goes back to it's the bloodline and long as your family line on your father's side go back to abraham isaac and jacob then you as a hebrew israelite it don't matter how you look and especially if you believe in this truth wholeheartedly you as a hebrew israelite it don't matter how you look and where you from you as a hebrew israelite so we're gonna get into it i want to start off in this scripture and i see what will lead me to because i don't know because we're gonna let the lord do the speaking the book of jeremiah chapter 30 verse 10 it says, Therefore fear thou not, O my servant Jacob. The Lord is only dealing with Jacob. All right? Hold on real quick. We're going to let this pass. And we're going to have a moment of silence and I ain't talking about that Nah song. But anyway, going right back. The Lord is only dealing with Jacob. So we're going to read this again. Jeremiah chapter 30 verse 10 Therefore fear thou not O my servant Jacob And you have to remember Jacob's name got changed to Israel Matter of fact I'm going to get that scripture too Jacob's name got changed to Israel The, the, the Lord Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai Is only dealing with the nation of Israel Alright He ain't dealing with no no other nation We, we, we get the book of uh, Amos and Amos However you, you pronounce it Same book Alright Depending on where you at, you pronounce the word and name different. But we all know what you're trying to say. But in the Hebrew tongue, I don't give a damn how the way you speak. We we always gonna understand what you're saying. And that's the power of the Hebrew tongue. Alright? But let me get that in Genesis real quick because the Lord is only dealing with Jacob. The Lord is dealing with the Hebrew Israelites. He ain't dealing with no other nation. Because guess what? The uh the uh so-called white man, he's Hebrew. The so-called Chinese and Japanese, they Hebrew. The uh, so-called Palestinians, Gaza. Hey, guess what? They Hebrew. There's multiple Hebrew nations, but the Lord is only dealing with one Hebrew nation. He's only dealing with one Hebrew nation because uh, uh, Moab and Ammon, the so-called Chinese and J Japanese, they came out of us. They came from us. And I'm saying, when you read the story about Lot and his two daughters, the so-called the so-called Chinese and Japanese people, which is Moab and Ammon, they came out of us. They incest babies. Why you think they got the slanted eyes? No other nation on this planet got the slanted eyes like they got. They came out of us. But they Hebrews as well, but the Lord ain't dealing with them. The Lord ain't dealing with Ishmael. Ishmael is what the so-called Arabs. All right? The, the uh, so-called suicide people that would bond themselves in the name of Allah which Allah that simply means power Allah means God so you is bombing yourself in the name of a false God all right you believe in the lie we over here believe in the truth the Lord ain't dealing with Ishmael the Lord ain't dealing with them Hebrews he dealing with these Hebrews over here all right which is, the, which is the line of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. No other Hebrew. I mean, no, no other uh, Hebrew. 
but 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 these Hebrews over here, the nation of Israel, so-called Negroes, Spanish, and Native American Indians, and you and, and you Israelite like foreigners that look like the other nations, and you know, we're gonna get into this right here. Let me read this one more again. I'm gonna see where it lead me to, cause I did say I was gonna get that. So let me get that in Genesis. Matter of fact, let me get Genesis real quick. Let's get Genesis real quick. Cause Jacob name got changed to Israel. All right, we got it right here. This is the book of uh, Gen Genesis chapter 35, verse 10. It says, "And the Lord said unto him, Thy name is Jacob." Thy name shall not be called any more Jacob. Yeah, um, his name was Jacob, which means supplanter, because Jacob supplanted Esau from from the birthright, which belonged to us anyway. Nightcrop, listen, we we are the the real deal. All right, you have been fooled. You have been um um, um fooled. All right. Matter of fact, the, uh, you think you is one with the Lord, not knowing that you is only fulfilling His will, Esau. All right, that part. And of course, you have to be advanced to all to understand what I said. You have to be spiritual minded, not carnal minded, to understand what I just said. But continue reading 35 of Gen Genesis chapter 35 verse 10. It says, "But Israel shall be thy name. Israel shall be thy, thy name. So your name is no more Jacob." But Israel is your name. Now let's start this from the top. Genesis 35 and 10. But the Lord said unto him, Thy name is Jacob. Thy name shall not be called Jacob. It says, Thy name shall not be called any more Jacob. But Israel shall be thy name. And he called his name Israel. So now your name is Israel. It's not Jacob no more. Israel means what? Prince of power. Son of God. Yashar. Uh, uh, Israel means in the Hebrew tongue, Yahshua Allah, which is the Prince of Power. Yah means He. Yah is He. Shar is Prince. Allah is God. Prince of Power or Prince of God, Son of God. All oh, this is it's, it's, it's the same exact thing. Yahshua Allah. All right, Prince of God. That basically what it is. He is the son of God. We are sons of God. You, there's three categories of men. Sons of God, son of man, which is the heathens, and the sons of the wicked, which is what? The damn devils. <laughs> now I'm saying there's only three categories of man. Sons of God, sons of the heathens, which the sons of man, and of course you have what? The, um, the damn wicked. There's only, th there's only three categories of men. The Lord is only dealing with the sons of God. Prince of power, Yahshua Allah. Come on, man. They're Hebrew Israelites, man. And there's multiple Hebrew nations. Hebrew don't make you righteous. The Lord ain't even dealing with two-thirds of his own damn people. Two-thirds is going off. The Lord is only dealing with the elect. And that's just how the Lord got everything made. Hey, how are you? I'm doing great. And everything is done by reason. Check this out. Got him. But anyway. And matter, matter of fact, before I read the next verse, I was, I was going to read the next verse, but the people that's, 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 that's over there in the land of Israel right now, man, they imposters. Matter of fact, hold on. Let me get this gadget real quick. Imposter. Let me look at the word imposter. Because we already know what the word imposter means, but man, don't make the real people, man. They fake. Y'all not the real people. Stop claiming to be us. It's the word imposter. Imposter. You see that? One more again. Imposter. There we go. Uh, imposter. It says, excuse me, it says, a person who pretends to be someone else. Yeah, you is pretending to be us. In order to deceive others, especially for fraudulent gain, in order to deceive others, especially when it comes to fraudulent gain. 
Edom, the red Hebrew Edomites, is the king of fraudulent game. Alright, you is the king of fraudulent game, man. Word of the day is fraudulent. Let, matter of fact, let it be the word of the day. The word of the day is fraudulent. Alright, you is the king of fraudulent, man. Matter of fact, let me get that scripture where it says, uh, uh riches got by deceit. Then we're going to get right back in Genesis. Then we're going to get right back in Jeremiah. Because he ain't real, man. Y'all know he ain't real, man. What you talking about? It's the book of, uh... The Ecclesiastes, because... Chapter 10, verse 8. It says, because of unrighteous dealings, injuries, and riches got by deceit. Got by deceit. And that's just the point that I want. But I'm going to go ahead and read it. It says... The kingdom is translated from one people to another. Drop that. The kingdom is translated from one people to another. We ain't, we ain't did everything fair. All right, Job chapter 9, verse 24. All right. The earth is, it is given to the hands of the wicked. Which the, which the third category of man? The Lord only gave you this planet for a short period of time. And, and guess what he did? He covered the faces of the judges that, of the judges that, uh, of not women. Who is he? Who whitewashed the images? Who turned, in it, who turned the Lord from being dark brown to being light? To having no color at all. Who did that? The Asian man ain't did that. The black man ain't, the so-called ain't did that. No, Esau did that. Who whitewashed the images of the angels, etc.? Who did that? Alright? Esau Eden, the so called white man, did that. Alright? But anyway, let's get right back in Genesis chapter 35, verse 10. It says, and, and the Lord said unto him, Thy name is Jacob, thy name shall not be called any more Jacob, but Israel shall be thy name, and he call his name Israel because Israel means prince of power. This is who the Lord is dealing with. So when you go right back into Jeremiah 30 and 10 it says, Therefore fear thou not O my servant Jacob. The Lord said, my servant Jacob. He ain't talking about anybody in the world. He's talking about his servant Jacob. Now the question is, who is Jacob? I just not told you who uh, Jacob is. The 12 tribes of the nation of Israel. But let me get right back because I want to read verse 11 because I had scanned through it with my eyes and I want to read Genesis chapter 35 verse 11 it says and the Lord said unto him I am the Lord Almighty right be fruitful and multiply a nation and a company of nations shall be of thee which the twelve tribes of the nation of Israel right and kings shall come out of thy loins. Hey, we are a nation of kings and princesses, not queens. The word queen means whore. Alright? In new speech, the word queen is a homo, you, you know what? Um, sexual. Alright? But ain't no queen supposed to be of our nation. Alright? We are a nation of kings and princesses. We are a nation of prophets and prophetess. And um, the question is, what is a prophetess? A prophetess is a woman that's married to a prophet. I'm going to say that again. A prophetess is a woman that's married to a prophet. Because a woman come out of a man. So what I'm saying the man comes first then the woman you have a man then you have a woe man you have a prophet then you have a prophetess without us there's no there's no you so in order for you to exist we have to exist first so basically what I'm saying is you open the door for me y'all know I gotta play with it sometimes but at the same time I'm serious no you gotta you gotta open the door for me you know what I'm saying? So you know I had to add that in there real quick. You know I had to do that. Hey, you know I love to play with it. And this is something, all right, sir? And this is something that's what really fun to do. You know what I'm saying? Hey, man, I love playing with it. You know what I'm saying? 
Now let's get right back. You know I, hey man, you know I had to throw that in there real quick, man. I had to, man. That, you know that that was fun to do. But uh, um, Genesis chapter thirty-five, verse eleven. One more time. And what verse twelve say? Matter of fact, real, real eleven. Then read verse twelve. Then um, that uh, that'll be the point. That that that'll be the point. Cause I ain't wanna read all that. Um, all right. Um. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're going to read 11, then read verse 12. Then we're going to get right back in Jeremiah. Um, uh, Genesis chapter 35, verse 11. It says, And the Lord said unto him, I am the Lord Almighty. Be fruitful and multiply. A nation and a company of nations shall be of thee. And kings shall come out of thy loins. Ain't no kings coming out of Ishmael. Ain't no kings coming out of Edom. Ain't no kings coming out of um, uh, uh, Put, Canaan. Uh, hey, what's that? Uh, Cush. Ain't no uh kings coming out of um, Amalek. The whole nine, the rest of them. You know what I'm saying it's 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 only kings coming out of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and then from well. From Abraham, Isaac, then Jacob, and nothing but kings coming out of Jacob, man. Because I had to correct myself just now because Abraham had multiple sons. The Lord ain't dealt with one. That was Isaac. Isaac had what? Uh, Jacob and Esau. The Lord ain't dealing with no damn Esau. It's Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And then from Jacob, nothing but kings came out of Jacob. So, you know, I had to correct myself real quick. All right? But the Lord is only dealing with Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and all kings because it's coming out of Jacob, man. It's the Lord the Lord ain't dealing with no other nation. All right? The Lord is not dealing with no other nation. Only kings come out of us, man. When we have a son, guess what? That son is a king. If I bust nut in this woman, and, and what? She have a baby, and this a son, that's a king. That's just how it is. He's, he's, he's going to be a righteous king or a rebellious king. He's a king. But the most important thing in this in this time is prophecy. And that's going to always be the most important thing is prophecy. And that's just how the Lord got to set it up. So, so let me make that point as well. I said I was going to read verse 12. I don't need 13. But yeah, I'm gonna read this and I'm gonna get right back in John, Jeremiah. Cause I don't, I don't need. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, Genesis chapter 35, verse 12. One more verse. It says, And the land which I gave Abraham and Isaac to thee I will give it. And to thy seed after thee will I give the land. Yeah. And that's talking about, of course, that's talking about the land of Israel. But that land, you look at it now. They're talking about the whole nine and the whole planet, the whole earth. What about the other nations? Excuse me, the other planets. We're gonna get all that. That's why Yahweh Shai said, I go to prepare a place for thee. I go to prepare a place for thee. Alright? The which is the other planets. There's many mansions in Yahweh's house. The galaxy, whatever you want to call it. Alright? The galaxies. The whole nine. We is going to experience infinite life, infinite power. For the first time ever, we is going to literally meet the angels. We are going to reunite with our brothers. That's not just talking about um, Yahweh Shai reuniting with us. That's talking about the 144,000 that never lost their first estate. I mean, that's talking about the 144,000 that... uh. Lost their first estate That's going to reunite with the brothers That did not lost their first estate They helped made everything Yeah, how was Shai helped made everything When we read the book of you know, Genesis chapter 1 verse 2 Which is the Allah Which created everything Now of course who gets the full credit Yeah, Because he's the former of all things But who did he use But who did he use Yahweh Shai and the angels, which is the Allah Hayyam. Allah means power. Allah Hayyam means power words. 
that's in the book of Genesis chapter 1. We created everything while the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, sit on the throne while Yahweh, Shai, and the angels created everything. And I remember, like even yesterday, of me having a dream, creating trees, create the water, create the ocean, create grass. I had a dream about that. I had a dream. I had a dream of putting leaves on trees and stuff like that. I did that in my dream. But anyway, walking on water and stuff. Yeah, I, I did that. All right, in that dream. But going right back, we will be able to experience infinite life. Look at Esau Kingdom. He can't even uh, experience everything on the planet Earth. When you talk about the uh, planet Earth, there are certain boundaries that he he can't pass. He can't go that way. That's how the bounce. You can't go that way. It's like a video game the way. No, no, you can't go that way. There's a invincible wall that's blocking you from going that way. Just like we're out of space. Esau can't go out of space. In the, in the kingdom of heaven, the Hebrew Israelites, the elect, the 144,000, we're going to be able to literally go and go and go. It's going to be infinite. It's infinite. You can't wrap your mind around anything that's infinite. We literally is going to reunite with our brothers who never lost their first estate, which is the angels. We literally gonna meet our brothers face to face who never lost their first estate. Yahweh Shai himself handpicked 144,000 men to lose their first estate like he did. Yahweh Shai had to come down here and suffer. He lost his first estate and he handpicked 144,000 men to lose their first estate. There's how many number of them? The Bible speaks about we outnumber these men, right? Let me paraphrase. I am gonna get into that yet, but let me stay on this topic. We literally going to reunite with angels, extremely austere men who got wings, who can fly, who got chariots, what people call so-called UFOs. We gonna you we gonna reunite with them. We're gonna experience and explore the other planets. There is no end to success. Success is infinite. Yahweh mind is infinite. You, you you can't wrap first of all, you can't wrap your mind around Yahweh shine. <laughs> if you can't wrap your mind around the sins that you have, how much more righteousness? I'm just saying. Let that sink in there for me. You ain't caught that one, then you know what? You just ain't ready for that. What time it is? Cause I ain't wanna, yeah. Cause I wanna um, get back in that Jeremiah. Man, let's get this one more game. Um, Genesis chapter twenty, Genesis chapter thirty-five, verse twelve. It says, "In the land which I gave of Abraham and Isaac to thee, will to thee I will give it." And to thy seed after thee will I give the land. Yeah, the Lord said He gonna get the land of you, which is the whole world. The whole world. It's what the Lord is gonna give to us. The Lord ain't dealing with no other nation. The Lord don't give a fuck about no other nation. He only dealing with you. If the Lord was dealing with the people, those imposters that's in the land of Israel, why not a single one of them? Is in Mars, Jupiter. In the kingdom of heaven, we're supposed to experience the other planets. Why not at least one Edomite? Why at least not one of y'all fake ass you wish people? It's in these other planets. Why? But what about that other planet that looked like the Earth, but three times bigger? Why are you not over there? I can give many examples, many examples. Why is you people, you fake ass wanna be Israelites? That's 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 fake. Uh, you you know what Jews? That's claiming to be us. You people are certified imposters. Why y'all not in these other planets? You supposed to be able to fly. Dragon Ball Z comes from the power. Anybody 
that claim to be the, sh the children of Israel that's in the Holy Land in, in, a, in a particular appointed time supposed to be able to fly, walk on water, walk underwater. You don't have that power. And then on top of that, you as a nation that's divided. You don't, you don't have that power. So you is a, a certified imposter. I can go on and on with time it is. We have to end it in two minutes. But I can go on and 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 on. You don't have none of those powers. So you're not the real people of God. The scripture said in the book of Deuteronomy chapter 28, when you read about those curses, it speaks about how that we are people going to be cursed, going to be at the bottom. Not gonna have nothing. Gonna be disrespect by all nations. You people not disrespect by all nations. No. You people not disrespect by all nations. You, you. Come on, man. All right. Time it is. Now right, we got one more minute. Know what I'm saying, but in the man, no one gonna hang in it, man. No, Lord, we'll not be back out again tomorrow. Uh. And again, Friday, Lord willing, you know what I'm saying, baby, we're going to keep this going. But, hey, I'm just, you know, speaking about how the way, man, y'all not the real people of God, man. The you rich people that's, 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 that's in the land of Israel, man, y'all ain't real, man. Y'all ain't real. The Lord ain't even dealing with none of y'all, man. All right? But I'm going to go ahead and end this, uh, wait, wait, Wednesday, November the uh, 29th, lunch break camp lesson. Hopefully, it was edifying. I would love to end off by saying, call on Yahweh, by Hashem, I'm Shai, by Hashem, we call for God. The one that's to the other, the apostle of great millstone. And Shalom, to the old for the lake. Shalom, skip.